was up a spot. I would. I mean, uh, bad men would. I remember. See, Rygand would. Thanks, Rygand. Could you give us Mr. Miss Weissman's address, please? Like now. Don't just stare at me, pal. She's not in the phone book. I left. Oh yes, I know where she lives. Let me write it down for you. Never got the chance to visit her. Here you go. So, I hate to ask, but is that everything you need from me right now? I have to come up with something to tell the boys about why I let the insurance run out. Uh, and I can't really focus on that while I'm here. I think we have what we need for now. You'll be at the barber shop if we need you? I may have some errands to run, but I will be there for some time today, for sure. All right, then. Thanks, we'll be right back. <laughs> no, thanks, you can leave. All right, then. What do you think? Oh my god, does he have his hand on his gun? He's like, seriously, I, mean, I know you're you know, a calm witness and we don't have anything against you, but sit one wrong move and I'm blowing you to shit. Oh, I've got a new location. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Who <laughs> are you? Seriously? Las Vegas Crime Lab, drop the weapon now! Uh, uh, what just happened? says Brian Reed. Do you mind telling us why you were in Portia Weissman's apartment, Mr. Reed? It's my girlfriend's apartment. Well, ex-girlfriend as a as a yesterday. Do you break into all your ex-girlfriend's apartments? <laughs> oh, I didn't break in. I have a key. Uh, the door was bashed open and you were standing there with a sledgehammer. The door was busted in when I got there. So I grabbed the tool just in case the guy who broke in was still... Hey, just call Portia. She's angry with me, but she'll back up. Uh, God damn it. Now, see, now I have to re-sync everything. And, uh... Yeah, I hate it when I have to do that. Yeah, we were wondering where you were. Weren't we, Rygan? Oh, well, sorry, guys. Just have to go and deal with someone at the door. Alright, there was a fire at the spa. I'm clicking now. A fire? Oh god. Is she okay? Unfortunately, Miss Weissman never made it out of the mud bath. The you mean she it, it can't be. Mr. Reed, we're sorry for your loss. A fire. Huh. <laughs> See, look at it, look at that face. Yeah, you're not fooling me, Ron Weasley. You're a m m murderer. So, what were you doing in the apartment? Hmm? 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 So, were you tying up loose ends after the torch in the spa? No. Oh, whoa. That's crazy. The only loose ends I was tying up were my toothbrush and an extra pair of underwear. And now you tell me she's gone and, and you're acting like I had something to do with it? Mr. Reed, Brian, we have no evidence implicating you right now. And we know it must be a shock to hear about Portia. We need your help to figure out what happened to her. Yeah, what was with the hammer? You know, you were just picking up underwear? Hey, you, what, you, by picking up, do you mean smashing to pits? I don't know if you've ever tried smashing underwear to pits, pal, but it's not easy. <sighs> so tell us about the hammer, I mean, yeah. I hope you can understand why we want to know the reason you were standing there with that thing. Sure, yeah, I can see how it looks. But really, it's just like I told you. I stopped by to pick up my stuff, yeah, including the, the hammer, and the door was broken open. I grabbed the, the, the tool for protection on the way inside. It was just inside the door. I wasn't there for more than a minute before you two showed up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, the funny thing is, when someone gets so full of shit, it begins to pour out of their mouths. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, who broke up with whom? Go on, give me all the juicy bits. So, did the relationship get violent? Not just the sex, I mean, like, the whole thing. Did you hit her? Hit her? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Uh, 
That's totally a Haruhi Suzumiya quote. Yeah, yeah. If Moolah FTW were making this walkthrough, he'd totally make a comment about Vice Elric. <laughs> yeah, too right, Rygand. <coughs> Here's some evidence. Objection! self-medicating. Cancer patients are sometimes prescribed medicinal marijuana to help them cope with the side effects of treatment. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> that South Park episode. <laughs> oh, oh my god, yes. Porsche's cancer had come back. Medicinal fried chicken. Where were you last night at this time on this golden stopwatch I have here? Nice, isn't it? Anyone verify your location between the hours of 3 and 4 a.m.? I don't think so, no. I was at home hanging out with my buddy Jack for most of the night. But by then, Jack was gone and I was pretty much passed out on my couch. Can your buddy Jack confirm your story? Well, I try not to ask the bottle too many questions. People look at me funny. Hmm. Hmm. His buddy Jack. Jack Daniels, everyone. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, we're done for now. For now, it sucks to be you. But I mean, seriously though, you can leave. What do you do for a living, Brian? A uh, living? I, uh, I'm kind of between jobs right now. I'm looking for something in construction, but I'm not having a lot of luck. I do have a couple of leads, so so ask me in a week, maybe. Yeah. I have some more <laughs> questions for you, sir. Would you mind waiting? I might as well. Probably won't get much out of me once I have a chance to start drinking. Jim, could you do a background check on Brian Reed? I called it in on the way over. I'll let you know what turns out. Let's head back to Portia Weissman's apartment. Maybe there's some evidence there that can link the break into the fire. I love that look she gives me. As she like tips her head down slightly, looks up at me. God, I've got such a kink. I've got such a kink! <laughs> That footprint's so painfully obvious, I feel like this game is patronizing my intelligence. <laughs> oh, shit, really? Alright, this is this is casting, right? No? A picture? Fair enough. We need to find a shoe that matches this impression. It's made out of some kind of dirt. We should get a sample. Okie dokie. Diddly pokey! <clears throat> well, I mean, in all seriousness, though, this is a very sad situation. Oh, wait, well, I have to look at it, don't I? Let's take a look at that, at their evidence that I just pulled out of my ass. Ooh! You see, it's not finished, but it, it's gone from there, from now. Holy shit! Oh, did you see that? Oh, my God. Oh, where's my partner gone? She, oh, she could be anywhere. There she is. Nice. What's this? Signs of forced entry. Oh, yes, sir, I believe it is. Some of the marks here are thin and straight, but some are circular, just like the holes in the drywall at the spot. Oh, my God. It's like double foul play. He's like, I'm totally going to murder that woman today. Shit, I can't. She's out. Fuck. I have to go and find a place of work. And then he had to go and find a place of work, and we well, screwed then. Yoink. This isn't just a hammer. It looks like something off the fire truck. I don't know, it looks like a bitchin' weapon. Think that little ginger guy is the same person? Shit, you're right. Why didn't we see it all along? Why didn't we see it all along? <laughs> Thanks, Ragon. Um, is 
Seriously though, that ray gun needs a better mic. Doesn't he paradox? Yes, he totally does. <sighs> like, he, I, no, it's not that. He just sounds so far away all the time. It's a little late to warn Porsche about the fire hazard. Oh! Uh, yoink. $18 amounts. It looks like a record of the spa's finances. Interesting. Ooh, I smell fingerprints. I mean, I don't smell fingerprints. That'd be creepy. <laughs> looks like an ear. Actually, uh, you know, never mind. Hammer, the destroyer of all. You know this has fingerprints on it. You know it, and and you know. Examine. Oh come on! <laughs> There's fingerprints on this, and I know. Guys, stupid. That's what that is. It's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> stupid. Seriously, none. See, now, I would just be up and down, like, grabbing fingerprints off everything. Like, uh, you know, evidence is there to be collected. It's like Pokemon cards. So, anything you want to add? Right now, Brian Reed seems like our best suspect. We should bring him in for more questioning. That's a dumb idea. We totally finished with everything with him. Let's go. Wait, what was that? Oh, it's... Oh, my God! Look at this floor! Nice, isn't it? Yeah. The hell is this? A black hair pulled out of the root. Portia was a blonde, and Brian Reed has red hair. Someone else was here. What, what's this stuff on the floor? Oh, shit, slippers. Maybe it was a ghost. Oh my god, seriously? Yeah, it, it could have been a ghost. Huh? Oh, it's these little beads things. Are you happy, door kicker? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Yeah, that's a good sketch. Yeah. <laughs> you see what you're doing to my family? I did my best. <laughs> I didn't want to turn it on anyway. Hang on, there's a note here. Read it. Can't examine this, honestly. Um, okay. I can take this for DNA sampling, right? That there's goddamn fingerprints on this thing, and I, and I, and I want to. Big though. I mean, I'm not pissed. I'm just, I'm just saying, guys. Uh, book cases. Stairs. Nice. There's a lovely button. It's nice. Um, just a bed. We don't. We don't just a bed. That doesn't seem to really be that much going on in here. It's kind of. You're right, we need to get back to the reed stuff. Really, I'm not done here? See, that's odd now. I, I feel like I should be done there. Hang on, let me just... Right, what do I have? I do have information. Uh, apparently not enough, though, and not of the right kind. Medical database. <laughs> I have new fingerprints. Porsche Weissman's 10 card. Oh my god, they're an exact match! Not match at all, Land. 